This is a walkthrough of my data-driven application. My application is called the Trivia app. The program uses the Teak Inter library for graphical user interface. So to begin the technical breakdown of my code, we start with the main window. So the main window is created using tk.tk with a title, a size and a background color. And a frame named main is created within the main window to organize the widgets. Secondly, the title screen. So the title screen function initializes or resets the game state when called. Labels for the title, category, difficulty, type and button are created with specific fonts, colors and alignments. And continuing here, a start button triggers the generate prompt function. So the generate prompt function constructs the API request URL based on the user's selected category, difficulty and its type. So moving further, it then calls the get question function. The get question function sends an HTTP request to the open trivia database API and retrieves a JSON response. It also checks for a rate limit error and displays an error message if necessary. And so basically the question and answer choices are extracted from the JSON response and the GUI is updated accordingly. The next function here is for checking the answer. So the check answer function compares the user's selected answer with the correct answer. If the answer is incorrect, the player loses a life. The GUI is updated to display the correct answer and the question number and the remaining lives as well to keep the user up to date. And here on the screen, buttons for restarting or continuing the game are provided as well. Next is clearing the screen. So the clear screen function removes all the widgets from the main frame. This is used before updating the GUI with new content. Um, and so overall styling, the fonts, colors and styles are consistently applied to create an aesthetically pleasing interface. Um, different colors are used for title screen, question screen to distinguish between different section of the game. I'm sorry, I mean app. Next we have here is the global variable. So the global variables based are like prompts, question numbers, life, etc. are used to maintain the state of the game across different functions. So they don't change the same across the whole entire code. Next we have here is drop down menus. The drop down menus, which you can see here, ttk.com box, are used for selecting the category, which are difficult, which is the difficulty, category, and type. Next we have here is button actions. Buttons, buttons are created with specific commands, functions basically, to perform actions when clicked. Randomization of answers. So um, the incorrect answers choices are shuffled to provide variety to the user. The API requests. So um, the program interacts with the Open Trivia Database API to fetch trivia questions. And we have error handling. The program checks for rate limit errors, as I've mentioned before, um, in the API response and displays an appropriate message. The program initialization so um, the initial setup includes defining the um, original API request URL, initializing variables, and setting up the, the entire title screen. Um, last but not the least, the responsive design of my data different application. So the GUI elements that I've given 
are organized and styled to ensure readability and an appealing user interface.